Hi, everybody. Happy Chew Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that is 2022 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box, pick your team at number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to this group for knocking it out. Tuesday the 24th, you got a, if you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team, that team random. That helped fill up two cases. Jorge with Last Bot Mojo with my Dodgers. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. Um, so this is Pick Your Team 5. Pick Your Team 6, fresh case in the store right now. If you want to get another one of those going tonight, I would love to. We, got, we also have a triple case, uh, a three-case random team break available as well, if that's something that you are interested in. And all of that, of course, on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Two autographs a box, no vet commons ship, everything else does. Thanks, everyone. Pitchers and catchers are going to report quite soon, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm excited about that. Looks like I think what some of the earliest teams. Who's I think about the fifteenth I think is when most teams fifteenth or sixteenth is when the pitchers and catchers are reporting. Then about five or so days later, position players will report. Except for the Guardians, the Guardians are re pitchers and catchers report on the seventeenth, a day or two later than everybody else. Not sure what that's about, but there you go. Scott Rowland is uh, is elected to the Hall of Fame. Six ballot Hall of Famer. Not sure if there's anything else crazy going on baseball wise. I guess Red Sox designate Matt Barnes for assignment. Royals optimistic about re-signing Zach Ranke. Brad Osmus reportedly among Astros as GM finalists. Yeah, nothing really, nothing really too crazy here. Matt Barnes' roster spot's going to go to Adam Duvall, by the way. Maybe we'll see a, a trade or two before uh, before spring training really gets underway. Might still be some moves out there for some teams. And there's our first autograph, Matt Veerling. 145 out of 150. Blue auto for the Phillies. That's going to go to Matt. Got the Phillies straight up. Mark met a... Carl Yastrzemski at a local hardware store when you were 12. How was that? Get something signed. There's Xander Bogarts. 9 out of 10. That's for you, Mark. Got the Red Sox straight. I've got a nice low-numbered card of the former Red Sox. Got Stephen Kwan blue to 150. That's for Devin and Cleveland. There's a Wander Franco refractor. Nice. That'll be for Tristan and the Rays. It's the sort of stuff we're looking for. Green at Chaz McCormick, 1999. Prince. That'll be for Michael P. and the Astros. Randy Arozarena to 250. Julio Rodriguez, base. Arozarena for Tristan. And Brian has Seattle. Got Brian C. Got Seattle straight up.
box two. When does the World Baseball Classic start? That starts in March. March 8th. That's where the group stages start. I guess Pool A will be in Taiwan, it looks like. Pool B, so in Taiwan, there'll be Chinese Taipei, Netherlands, Cuba, Italy, and Panama. Then I think Pool B, Japan, South Korea, Australia, China, Czech Republic, will be in Pool B. That's in Tokyo. Pool C in Phoenix, United States, Mexico, Colombia, Canada, Great Britain. I think that's right during the weekend. I'm, I think I've got something, otherwise I would go. Hmm. Pool D is in Miami, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, Israel, Nicaragua. So Carlos Chemsky was at a card table next to a popcorn machine and a wiffle ball display. You knew with your grandfather, grandpa, and you were both in awe. He signed your 1971 pennant. You still have it. Nice. That's cool. I'm assuming he was nice. He had a good memory. 165 out of 175, Max Scherzer. You never know. Hit or, hit or miss. This is Justin for the Mets. Justin and the Mets. With the Mets. And Freddie Freeman. Braves edition. Going to Michael P. Nice one, Michael. Aaron Judge, green, lava, 37 out of 99. Got Bobby Wood Jr. right on top. That's for the Royals, Nicholas. Maybe we'll find some parallels of him. An aura of excellence, Wander Franco, Nick Allen to 300 for Michael P. and the A's. And a C.J. Abrams autograph, T.J. and the Padres. It's exactly what he was looking for. There you go, Tej. Tej with Siege. And a Jake Berger, to 250 for Michael F. and the White Sox. See you, Jonah. How's it going, man? All right. Another box. Yeah, there you go, TJ. I mean, that's only box two. So there's a good chance we might see, uh, might see the other Padre you're looking for as well. And then what else, what else do we have here? So then the second round of the World Baseball Classic... These games will be contested in Tokyo and Miami between March 15th and 18th. It's a single elimination. Then the championship round will be contested in Miami March 19th through 21st. What? I feel like, oh, okay, I see, I see. So the Tokyo games are the 15th and 16th. So whoever advances to Miami still have until the 19th. It's still kind of, oh, it's still kind of a short window. Let's say you win on the 16th and you get on a plane immediately, fly cross country, and maybe get maybe get a day or two to adjust to the time zones, and then going all the way from Japan to the East Coast of the United States. Well, 
Let's we'll see how that works out. That's true. That's right. Both of those guys are uh, Nats now, right? Yeah, well, I mean, no one's going to be blocking their path, TJ, so they should get some plenty of playing time. There's Wander Franco. All right, now Raymond saying, yes, would come into Pop's Seafood when I worked in Florida. Owners warned me not to ask for her okay. You don't like being asked in public. Who, who are we talking about? We're talking about Carl Yastrzemski, Raymond, or is Javier Baez to 150? That'll be for Detroit. That'll be for Travis. Oh, Carl Yastrzemski, okay. There's Aaron Ashby for the Brew Crew, Justin. O'Neill Cruz Purple, 004 out of 250. Purple Chrome, Joe Christian and the Pirates. Nice, Raymond. I appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I don't think I'd... I don't know. It's Helio Ramos to 199. Not sure if I get starstruck too often. Or it's not that I've run into a lot of celebrities or anything like that, but here's a Mackenzie Gore refractor, TJ. And um, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother them while they're eating dinner, right? Spencer Watkins. That's for the Orioles. That'll be for Michael P. Jake Berger Green to 99. All right, another box. And we got uh, we got some more finest in the store, boys and girls. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out. Mark remembers his grandfather asking him why they moved him to first, and that Jim Wright didn't know how to play that well. What was uh, what was Carl Yastrzemski's response? Hey, you're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. No, I'm not. I'm Roger. I'm an airline pilot. I think you're the greatest, but my dad thinks you don't hustle enough. <laughs> Listen, kid, I've been, I've been hearing that since my days at UCLA. You tell, you tell your old man to drag Walton and beer up and down the court for 40 minutes. I bust my butt every night. No, no response from Carl. Pro. He's a pro. All right. Next box, Julio Rodriguez, Refractor. That's for Brian in Seattle. No sophomore slump from him. That's what we want to see. No sophomore slump. We want to just pick up right, right where he left off. Just start raking. Stay healthy. No injuries. Seth Beer for Michael F. and the Diamondbacks, 25. Nice rookie orange for the Snakes. And we got a Jake Berger green wave auto. Michael F. and the White Sox.
Gavin Sheets to 300. <laughs> Airplane, what a, what a great movie. <laughs> Shirley, you must be joking. I'm not joking. Don't call me Shirley. Bobachette, purple to 250. Toronto, that's for Fred. And we got a Ronnie Dawson, rookie auto for the Strohs. Michael Pete with the Houston Astros. And we got a base, Julio Rodriguez here for Brian and the M's. Nolan Arenado, Aqua, Shimmer to 175. Matthew and the Cardinals. All right, four boxes to go halfway through this full case break. This is Pick Your Team 5. Pick Your Team 6 in the store. We also have a triple case random team. Uh, random team break in the store as well, jazbeescasebreaks.com. LA Kings playing the in Philadelphia playing the Flyers. One minute left in a power play, tied at two in the second period. Yeah, it looks like I picked a bad day to stop doing methamphetamines. Looks like I picked the wrong week to stop sniffing glue. What do you make of this? I I can make a hat. I can make it. We got some trivia. Rex is going to hit us with some trivia. Who is the oldest living former baseball player? And, and how old is, is he? Gosh, I have no idea. Carlos Stremski has to be up there, speaking of Carlos Stremski. Next box. Cedric Mullins to 300. No, not Yo, yeah. I think Yogi's not, not with us anymore. Here's Kettle Marte. I like that big, bold autograph. 74 out of 99. Michael F. and the Diamondbacks. Rex, it might be easier if you just give us how old this person is, then we could try to work our way backwards. It's probably some random player. The, here's Javier Baez, 43 out of 250. Oh, Art Shallock, yeah. I, I'm, I, my apologies to Mr. Shallock. Oh, is it easier to guess how old he is? 99. Mark McGuire die cut for the Cardinals. It's going to be for Matthew. Julio Rodriguez base. Seattle for Brian. Javier Baez, Aqua Shimmer to 175 for Travis and the Tigers. And Ivan Castillo. Rookie auto for the Padres, another one for TJ. Am I close? 98? It's a Wander base card for Tristan. Jose Miranda Green, a speckle. 98. All right, another box. A better question might be, who is the oldest, like, living Hall of Famer? 
someone dig up that information. Oldest living Hall of Famer. Especially since it's Hall of Fame announcement day. I don't know the answer. Someone's going to have to look it up. Oldest living Hall of Famer. Oh, would that be play for the Giants? So that that would be TJ's answer from earlier, right? Willie Mays. Is he, was Willie Mays still with us? Stephen Punk, what's going on, Stephen? If Dan Quinn gets a coaching job, can he still wear his hat backwards? There's, I don't think there's a rule that says he can't. He can do whatever he wants if he's a head coach. Wow. There he goes. So Maze is still with us. He'll be 92 in May. It's Mike Trout, 163 to 199. That's for Michael P. and the Halos. And we got Brian De La Cruz, rookie auto for Justin. Won that spot in the filler. Charlie Blackman, green speckle to 125. That is for Michael P. and the Rockies. Bobby Witt Jr., base card for the Royals, Nicholas. We got an O'Neill Cruz for Joe Christian and the Pirates. We got an Edward Cabrera. For the fish, that's going to be for Justin. That's 103 out of 300. And we've got a Drew Ellis, orange shimmer, 22 out of 25. And that is for Michael F. and the Diamondbacks. And there's Reed Detmers to 250. That's for Michael P. and the Angels. Jeff Kent fell off the Hall of Fame ballot. That kind of surprised me. Why? Why does it surprise you, Rex? I thought he was off the Hall of Fame ballot already. Yeah, I don't know what the 2023 results were, but he was he got into the low 30%, 21 and 22 last year. I guess this 10 would be the last time you can get in, right? Yeah, for a second baseman, he's definitely got some some great numbers, especially in a position that doesn't produce that kind of offense. He ended up with a 290 batting average, 855 OPS. 300, almost 400 home runs, 2,400 hits, 1,500 RBIs, an MVP, five-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger. I think uh, sometimes the, uh, the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame can be a popularity contest as well. I think Jeff Kent was maybe not exactly a favorite of the uh, baseball writers. I think he was a bit of a... Bit of a D.
I think Todd Helton got super close. I can't... He had... He just fell a few percentage points short. Right? And he's it's only like... He's only like five ballots in. I think he'll eventually get in. I mean... Yeah, silver, multiple times silver slugger, batting title, gold glove. Second to last box. And we got a Salvador Perez, green, two out of 99 for Nicholas. And a Bobby Wood Jr. as well. And there's Alejo Lopez for Fred and the Reds. Rookie autograph for the Red Legs. Xander Bogarts, 21 out of 75 for Mark and his Red Sox. You got Kevin Smith to 250 for Michael P and the A's. Got a Torkelson as well. Chaz McCormick, 77 out of 150. Find it sad that, why do you find it sad? Rex, that Andrew Jones got left out. It happens. I think the last handful of his his years I think certainly hurt uh, Andrew Jones's Hall of Fame campaign 39 out of 199 O'Neill Cruz for Joe Christian and the Pirates and as great of a uh, slugger he was for a good chunk of time I guess that just just wasn't enough the gold gloves people don't weigh defense as, as much as maybe they should ah you like you used to collect him as a teenager yeah, he had some really good seasons for the Braves, but then sort of tailed off very quickly. And yeah, there was that there was that lost year with the injuries too affected him. But there was there's that lost year with the Dodgers. He Popped over to Texas for a little bit, then the White Sox, and a couple years of the Yankees. I feel like if uh, maybe he was like a one-team guy, you know, maybe if he stayed with Atlanta the, the rest of the way through his age 35. See, he started at age 19. He was really young when he started, too. He's played 17 years. You know, if you maybe got to like that 500 homer mark, that 2,000 hit 500 homer mark, I think that might have that might have helped his case a lot more. You know, I don't know without off the top of my head without looking it up if, if Carlos Delgado or Andrew Jones has better numbers. We did, Danny. I did hear about that. That's the, that must be the, the, the drama 
of the day. I think you're like the third or fourth person that mentioned that. There's Ozzy Albies for the Braves. Michael P. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure they'll make it right. There's Trey Auburn. Uh, Auburn Auburn J. I don't know why I got tripped up by that last name there, but Tristan with the Yankees. I almost want to say aubergine, which is another another word for eggplant, I believe. If you're uh, if you're English, I suppose. There's Juan Soto, three hundred. That's for Devin and the Nats. And the last mini box. Good luck, everybody. No, 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 it's okay, Danny. It's Christine Ellis one. I'm, I'm just more commenting on the fact that, like, like uh, I think that's the big news of the day. Everyone wants to talk about it. Honor Franco and Ronnie Donson is our last autograph. Michael P. Is Mark Grace a Hall of Famer? I think someone mentioned that yesterday and we all kind of had a good chuckle. Three oh three, hundred and seventy three home runs, twenty four hundred hits. It's really not Hall of Fame numbers. Well, team Hall of Fames are quite different from <laughs> team Hall of Fames are quite different from the National Baseball Hall of Fame Rex. No, Mark Grace does not have Hall of Fame numbers for a corner infielder. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team five in the books. Uh, pick your team six. Load it up and plenty of other baseball as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com and we'll baseball with you next time. Bye-bye.